Hi there! When you can't conduct training in person, online is the way to go. In this video, we'll show you how to quickly get set up to start training remotely with iSpring. First, when possible, use existing content to start training online. Here I have a course I already created using PowerPoint. Once I have iSpring Suite downloaded and installed, all I have to do is head to the iSpring Suite tab. From here you can add additional features to your course, like quizzes, interactions, dialogue simulations, screen recordings, and more. But if you're in a hurry to make your content available right away, you can publish it as is. iSpring gives you the choice between publishing to your computer or directly to iSpring Cloud, which is an online service for secure hosting and sharing your presentations, or iSpring Learn, a learning management system, or to another LMS of your choosing iSpring allows you to export in a number of LMS-friendly formats, including SCORM 2004 and 1.2. You can even upload straight to YouTube. Let's upload the course to iSpring Learn LMS. When your course is finished publishing, you can select Manage Content to jump to your course in iSpring Learn. You can also take your existing learning plans in Excel and Word and use them to create an online learning program. If you're using iSpring Learn, it will be very helpful and time-saving for you to set up auto-enrollment. This will automatically assign online training courses to all future employees based on their group or department. Head on over to Courses, choose the course you would like to create the auto-enrollment for, and then select Availability. From here, you can see the Automatic Enrollment section, and you're going to want to begin by adding a rule. Now select Department. All new employees added to this department will be enrolled in the course you selected. You can create as many rules as you need. You may also have to replace face-to-face -face training with online webinars. You can use iSpring Learn to set this up. Go ahead and select Settings. From here, go to Integration, then choose to Enable Zoom. If you already have a Zoom account, you can log in here. If not, you can sign up for a new account. You'll need a paid account in order to enable Zoom on iSpring Learn. Once it's connected, you can go into Events and create a new web meeting or webinar. Finally, it'll be very important for you to know how to track your learner's progress online using iSpring Learn reports. If you head on over to the Reports page in iSpring Learn, you'll see all of the different report options that are available. Let's take a look at the Learner Progress Report. Here we can see the report summary. You can add several filters to be more specific about the information you want to see. For example, let's look at a single course. Great! Now you can see down here that only the information for the course we specified in these learners is visible. You can also add as many filters as you like. If you want to export the report, simply select the Export button. You can export as a CSV or XLSX. And those are the fastest ways to adapt to online training using iSpring. Give it a try to see just how easy it can be.